All right, guys, so let's start in the section, which is essentially my art station. Um, we'll start in this corner. So <clears throat> this here is a lamp that my boyfriend got me at this medieval fair here in Portugal. Um, it's a little fairy, and it actually does light up. Let me show you what that looks like. There you go. And it's really nice in the nighttime. It gives like a nice warm light. I love it so much. <laughs> Just turning that off. Um, and then this here is just the photo uh, frame that was given to me by my sister. It has all of my nieces and nephews and it says best aunt ever. I thought it was really cute. <laughs> um, and then up here, this is where I keep all of my washi. And I have probably, I don't know how many washi I have in here, but um, I do think I have a couple of stragglers around the room, but this is pretty much the core of my washi collection. Um, and then this thingy here. Guys, this is editing Gina. Just wanted to let you know that that brown spot there is a makeup spot. Here, this like pegboard, I got it at Ikea. Um, and then on it, I just have like these little, these mini miniature clothes pins, and I thought they were really cute. Uh, here, I just put up anything that I found interesting or like. So for example, this here, I bought, I got it when we were in, in Porto, here in Portugal. Um, I really loved like the flower pattern. This here is a 20 peso like bill from Mexico. Uh, I've only been to Mexico once and it was super fun. Um, let's see, here's just a photo of me when I was a baby. I, I was a sailor apparently. <laughs> um, here I have a photo of me and Joelle. And below that is this rose quartz Pantone card that I printed. <laughs> um, I have some Portugal uh, like postcards here that I thought were really really pretty. I bought these when my, my parents came um, And then there's just a photo of me and Joelle uh, after Christmas and here is this postcard that came with this Disney set of of like illustrations from or the artwork from the movies and I my favorite movie is Sleeping Beauty, so That's why she's there <laughs> um, So now let's go to this side up here, I have some of my bookbinding stuff, and inside of, it, like, these are little jars that I got from, uh, like, the yogurts. You just wash them. Apparently here in Portugal, the yogurts are in glass. I don't know. I didn't see that very often in the U.S. Uh, here is this little uh, snow globe. Snow globe that my boyfriend's mom gave me from the Netherlands, and I thought it was really cute. This is just a little jar that I bought in in, uh, in Budapest. Here is this little minion that I forgot where I got this from, but he's really funny, so I just kept him here. <laughs> um, and then below that are just like these inks, my uh, color inks. And then here is uh, some uh, masking masking fluid. Some more like this is calligraphy ink, so it's different from this. It's a little bit lighter. And this is more ink. Here are some of my watercolors that are used in my illustrations. And then below that, I have more art supplies. Uh, these are just my markers that I got from uh, the US. These are Crayola markers. Uh, I forgot the name, I think they're super tips. Yeah, super tips. Um, this is a fake little, <laughs> like, uh, I think succulent is the word. Yeah, succulent. Um, here I keep some of my erasers and my sharpener because this is sort of where like I do most of my drawing as you can probably tell given that I called it my art station. Uh, and these are just some magnets that I bought at the store. But I thought they, they looked really pretty. And now below that 
I have this cute little llama uh, picture holder that my boyfriend found for me. He didn't buy it for me, but he did find it for me. <laughs> Um, and then next to that are just a bunch of my brushes. I have a ton of brushes and I'll show you that in a second. This is just some of the most used ones that I have. Uh, these are my pens, these are my fine liners, my color pencils, and these are all of my, uh, my markers. This is a mixture of Copics, Prismacolor, and uh, these like cheap ones that I bought online and I, don't, I think it was eBay. Yeah, it was on eBay. Um, so now... We're going to go to this side, where I have more of my brushes. Um, this cute little thing was actually made by my boyfriend's mom, and it was like super duper cute. I just like kept it here on display. Uh, here I have some actual living cactuses or cacti, succulents. I don't know. Uh, plants. <laughs> and below that is just like a little chest of drawers where i keep some of my other art supplies so here's where i keep my uh my watercolors and my gouache how do i put this back and then here i keep some of like my craft supplies so i have things like glitter i have some ribbon i have some of these like the cutout thingy majiggies so that's where that lives and then over here are just like some random things, so like this ink pad, uh, these bullet journal ink, oh sorry, not stamps, stamps is the word. Um, here I keep all of my, uh, my sticky things, so like tapes, I keep my glues here, I have this like roller tape thingy that I use for book binding or crafting. And over here, I have some more markers. These I don't use very often, to be honest. I bought them when I was like in desperate need of like a creative outlet. This is when I was living in Estonia. Um, and then these here are just uh, refillable uh, like pens that I bought when I was in high school and I never used them, of course. And that's it for that. And then this is sort of like my watercolor section. Uh, don't mind the acrylic and my sewing kit. This is the, the heat gun. Here I have some watercolor sets. This one I made myself. Well, I didn't make the tin. I made the... I, I put in the, the colors and stuff inside. Uh, some other watercolors that I can't get out because this thing's here. More watercolors. And that's pretty much it. Okay. And yeah, so this table, I know uh, I've already received a couple of questions about this, but this table, uh, the top part I bought from Ikea and the bottom part, which are like these little uh, light thingies, I got these from, uh, from this store. I don't remember how to pronounce it. Uh, Le, Le Roi Merlin or something like that. It's the store here in Portugal. Um, and inside I just keep some storage boxes just to make sure that I keep everything organized. So here uh, I have some like art journals and stuff like that. That's where I keep those things. And then over there it's just like random stuff. Um, but now to come over to this section So this is just like this bookshelf that I bought. Uh, it, it's from Ikea, but I didn't buy it at Ikea. Uh, it's a long story, but uh, on top I have my my printer. This big boy is meant for printing my artwork. Um, below that I have some of my books and my like important documents. So this is like a folder, a binder, um, some books that I collected from thrift stores in Estonia. I have a couple of them. These are some of my sketchbooks. Um, this recipe book for cod. I love cod, so I got that for Christmas one year. Um, and then I just have some like random journals and things like that. This here is this little jar that I collect shells in, and I just put them here because I think they look really pretty. Um, below that, I have this box of just scrap paper that I used for whenever I wanted like journal and stuff like that. 
Um, I bought this little llama box because one thing you're going to notice is that I have an obsession for llamas. So, yes. Um, here I have some more little like art journals and sketchbooks and stuff like that. Um, and you'll also find a couple more here inside of this little box. Um, yeah, these are just some of my art journals, more llama stuff here. <laughs> Um, and then below that, I keep some more of like my scrapbook papers and things like that. So here I keep, uh, whoops, here I keep some of my printer paper, uh, here I keep my colored paper, and then here I keep, um, I think this is just like regular scrapbook paper. You'll, <laughs> you'll find that I collect scrapbook paper a lot. I have more scrapbook paper in these things, and then this here is more scrapbook paper. So, yeah, that's it for that. And now, to go to the other side of the room, uh, to continue on the side of the room, um, I have this little shelf here where I keep this cactus uh, that my sister got me. She got this at Dollar Tree, so FYI guys, you can find adorable things in Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, here are some, uh, like, what are they called? Frames, where I keep some cool stuff. So this here is just like a print that I found that I thought was really pretty. It has this nice rose gold um, foiling. Uh, this here is an, actually a drawing that I made. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be Jenny Weasley, Luna Lovegood, and Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Uh, here are some of my favorite pins. I have a couple of Disney pins, uh, but these are my favorite and I think you probably can tell why. <laughs> Uh, it's Sleeping Beauty, and then I have these cute little donut ones that I thought were adorable. Um, and then over here, this is that, that set of uh, like illustration postcards that I was telling you about from Disney. And it's like a whole bunch of them uh, from like a ton of different movies. Up here is this painting that I made, and I was going to sell her, but I realized how much I loved her, so <laughs> I didn't. But she's very cute, and I decided to paint her. And then here, I actually love this very much. It's a little snow globe uh, with uh, Mini Liberty. And the reason I love this so much is because I used to work at the Disney store in Times Square. And uh, I don't know, it just reminds me of home. So it actually has this nice little Frank Sinatra tune. Uh, New York, New York. You guys get the gist. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she lives up here. This is this adorable little quaggin that my boyfriend got me. My favorite part is that she has a little bow on the side. <laughs> uh, what game is she from again, Joel? Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2, yeah. So she lives up here. She's very cute and she keeps some of the pens that I don't use as often anymore. Uh, and then this is this really cool llama pen that my sister gave me, which is adorable. Um, and then behind that is just this little llama frame that my other sister gave me. <laughs> uh, we both share the same obsession with llamas, so she knows to buy me a ton of llama things, and I have a couple of llama things for her. Uh, this is a Wonder Woman um, figurine that one of my coworkers got me. Sandy, if you ever watch this, thank you so much. Uh, this one I got myself. Uh, I think this one I got in Barnes & Noble when we were in New York. I bought it. Yeah, Joel bought that one for me, actually. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> um, and then behind that is uh, this Portuguese version, which I thought was just beautiful, of Nukes Commander's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So I just bought that. And it just lives up here because it's so pretty. Now, below that are some more of my art supplies. These are just some of my acrylic paints. Uh, and these here are my watercolor, uh, I don't know what to call them, just watercolors. <laughs> Um, and then coming down here, we have some of the books that I love the most. This huge book, Joel bought for me as well. Thank you, Joel. Um, and I use it whenever I need some inspo. This here is one of my sketchbooks. I, uh, I'll just show you a little bit about it really quick. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to blur that out. <laughs> that has all my information. Uh, this here is just some of the drawings that I've made. Um, but yeah, this, this sketchbook I tend to use more for like ideating as opposed to just like uh, practicing drawing and stuff like that. So if I ever start like a design project, I typically use that one first. Uh, next is this book on the life of Frida Kahlo, which is in Portuguese, and I love the illustration style, so I bought it. Um, she used to live on my shelf as well, but I thought that it looked a bit cluttered, so I keep it here now. 
Here is my little uh, planner that I made. <laughs> And that lives here just for easy access. Here's a book that I bought when I was in Barnes and Noble in New York. And I just really love the, the cover. It's very pretty. Here is another one of my sketchbooks. And I can show you a little bit about that too. Um, here are some of the drawings I made. These are a couple of draw with me's that I, that I decided to do. Um, and you can see the respective artists uh, on the page itself because I didn't want to forget. Um, but yeah, that's some of the some of the drawings that I've made. A couple of sketches. This is Lana Del Rey, <laughs> who is like my queen. I love her so much. I love her music. And that is it for that. This is a book that I bought in New York, like super cheap. I think I bought it for like two bucks. And this is gonna sound awful. I haven't read it yet. Uh, but the main reason I bought it was because I wanted to try to like repurpose it which is something I love to do. Uh, this here is just my work, Fujo, which I use like a lot. <laughs> um, and then here is a book by Jan Martel that I haven't read yet, but I really loved Jan Martel's uh, Life of Pi, so I decided to give this book a try. And then over here are some little books that I made actually. So I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I like to do book binding and I just, took some cardboard to practice and I made these uh, these little books. Actually this one I've already started using. So you can see some of the some of the things I've made here. Um, and then this one I haven't touched yet, but this one's a little bit different. This is more like landscape style. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Put that away. And then this is a fake plant that I bought because I can't, I cannot keep plants alive. So, fake plants. And then finally on this side, we have my pin board. So these are all Disney pins. Um, I haven't been to Disney in a few years, but I'm hoping that maybe I can get into some pin trading uh, once I go to Disney, which I don't know which Disney I wanna go to next, but I'm pretty sure it's Disneyland Paris that I'm going to next. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> and then this one super cute. Um, so now just going along the desk, this here is my laser printer. I use this for uh, printing like really quick documents and also for gold foiling because it's a laser printer. Um, this here is my scanner. Uh, this is my IKEA lamp, which I use a ton. Uh, but then here is my little, uh, my little pen, pencil case, or not case, pencil holder. Okay. Yeah, pencil holder. Thank you. Um, and this is where I keep the most used supplies, so like my scissors, my Apple Pencil, my tablet pen, uh, just a bunch of stuff like that. And this is supposed to be like a rechargeable station, so every now and then I do remove this and charge my phone there, but I just felt this was like the best place to put this. Um, and then just moving along this way, this is my computer. Um, I don't know what to say about it except that it like works. <laughs> Um, my boyfriend got me this keyboard. You'll notice that my boyfriend buys me a lot of stuff, apparently. Um, and I just love it because of the lights. He knew that I loved the lights, and then my mouse does the same thing. So, thank you, Joel. And then he also gave me this uh, this little mouse pad. I don't know what game this is from. Joel, can you help me out with that one? It's Elder Scrolls. Oh, it's from Elder Scrolls. Um, he gave it to me because he loves me. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so that's it for that. And then over here I keep my glasses. Um, typically my inhaler will be here too because sometimes I forget to use it. Uh, but then this my sister gave me, again, a little llama uh, like ring holder, but here I just use my technology things. Um, so this is a receiver for my, my, my wireless mouse and this is the charger adapter for my iPad. I'm sorry, not for my iPad, for my Apple Pencil. Um, so now moving up here. This is just, I don't know, I actually have no idea what these things are called, but uh, this is where I just hang some things. So here I have like this little Loki keychain that I bought at the Disney store here in Portugal. Um, I have below that this uh, photo that you probably saw on the other side of me and Joelle. This is a note that he gave me, which is very romantic, so I keep it here. Uh, I have this rosary that I got when I went to Vatican City with my, with my parents. This here is a little... Um, 
what is it called? It's like a keychain that my uncle sent to me and it has my name on it. It's made out of this rock that's specific to Ecuador. I believe that's what my mom told me. Um, anybody who knows me, and you might have seen my Thor Ragnarok poster on the other side of the room, but I'm a huge Marvel fan, so I have this poster of the Avengers Infinity War movie, or it's a mini poster. Um, next to that, I have uh, the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts because I'm obsessed. I have not played the last game because I haven't had any time, but I, I did start it. Um, and then below that is another postcard from, uh, from Sleeping Beauty. And then here is just a little paper uh, from this exercise that we were doing when I was at my last company retreat where we sort of thanked everybody for their contributions to the company and to the team. Uh, and these were all the nice things that people had to say for me, so I like to keep that there. Um, and then above that, this is the first thing I've ever gold foiled <laughs> and it came out really well, so I was very happy with that and I just cut it out and hung it. Um, and then this is from one of my favorite, uh, this is like a postcard that came with my order uh, from this illustration that I bought from uh, Sibylle Maynette, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I have uh, some of her illustrations in my room and I can zoom, I can show those a little bit later. But now we can go to this side of the shelves. Ouch. Uh, these are these little cat mugs that my mom got me and Joelle, but I decided to keep them for myself because I'm selfish. Um, <laughs> so I just keep stuff inside of them. This one doesn't have anything, but this one has some magnets inside from this old whiteboard that I used to have. Um, and unfortunately she fell one time, so I had to like glue this back together. Um, behind that is just this little, uh, it's like a frame set that my, my boyfriend's mom gave to me and it has like a bunch of llamas on it, but I loved it so I just kept it. <laughs> Um, and then here is this uh, like old like vintage camera that I bought off of eBay. I was getting into like manual slash analog photography, but I never there, there's photos inside of like the the camera that I've taken, but I've never gotten them developed. So there's that. <laughs> Um, and then over here, I just have a bunch of other books that I really like. Uh, again, just like creative inspiration. This up here is another one of my sketchbooks, and I have a little plant on top. Or it, this is a fake plant, obviously, but it looks really pretty, so I just kept it there. And then finally, down here, this is where the motherboard of my computer lives. Uh, this is my Silhouette Curio, which I use to cut things. And then here is just my mic. Uh, the little lights here do light up. They look really pretty at night when uh, it's like super dark and they just give like a nice warm glow. Okay, so now we're going to go to my closets. I'm not going to show this one just because this one only has, um, has like my bed sheets and things like that. But over here, it's sort of like a mess of different things that I try to keep as organized as possible. Here are some of my jewelry and things that I use like these. This is like a pin that I have for my hair. Uh, I keep my earrings here. I keep my sunglasses here. I have two pairs of sunglasses. Well, three technically. The other one's in my purse. Um, some necklaces that my mom gave me. This is like a little... Uh, these. This is a broken bracelet that I bought when I was in Mexico. Um, I bought this in the Zocalo, but uh, it broke and I really loved it, so I just kept the beads. Here is this adorable little Mickey hand. It's like a ring holder, and I keep one ring on it, <laughs> and the rest are just some of my watches. So Below that, I have this little box that keeps all of my like nail supplies and stuff like that. And of course, you can't miss out on the little llama nail file. Um, and that's where that goes, and luckily it fit like perfectly in here, literally perfectly. So I just leave it there. Here I have like all of my nail stuff. Um, you might notice that I have a lot of like lotions and stuff in here. I have very dry skin, so I just keep that there whenever I need to like moisturize. Uh, here I have some of my like nail polishes and stuff like that. Here I had a perfume, but it sort of like broke, so it's empty now. Here I keep some of my like lipsticks and chapstick and stuff like that. Uh, I have a lot of makeup in my bedroom, but I didn't have enough space, so I keep some of it here, which is 
kind of unorganized and I hate it, but whatever. Um, and then here is like this little poster that I have of Captain Marvel. Um, I hate this thing because it keeps like, the tape keeps coming out, but I love the poster itself. Um, and now let's go ahead and go into the drawers. Okay. So here I have this basket with sort of like my cutting suppli supplies. This is just my like paper cutter. This is my hole puncher. And this is another little hole puncher that I have. This is another like cutter, paper cutter. And then this is the edge cutter that like rounds out the edges and stuff. I really wanted one so I finally bought it. I got all of these things on Amazon by the way. I think this I did also. Um, and then this here is my laminator, which I use for gold foiling. Uh, over here I have my scrunchies. This is where I keep all of like my hairpins and stuff. Uh, here I have just a bunch of eye eyeglass cases or like sunglass cases. Um, I have asthma, so I have some of my inhalers here. And here I have another little basket, which this one here has some of my... My Copic markers, I bought this on AliExpress. I haven't shown this to you guys yet. Um, I probably shouldn't have <laughs> used it yet, but I really needed a little pouch, so I just used this and just, because I went to the beach the other day and I put some of my, my markers in there to draw. I have a little domino set here. And then here is another pouch that my sister gave me that I use a lot for travel. Uh, here I have my more lotion and I have my, um, my sunscreen for my face. I put that there. Um, here is this adorable box that I got from this store called uh, Loja do Gato Preto, which is uh, the cat store, <laughs> or the dark, the black cat store. Um, and these are just some makeup sponges that my mom got me from New York because she knows that I love makeup. <laughs> uh, so that lives here. And now for the next drawer, here I have a lot of paper. This is sort of where my oversized paper lives. I have a cutting mat like right underneath here that it's a little hard to get to, um, but you get the gist. Um, this is where some of my stickers now live and some of the cutouts that I made with my silhouette. Uh, this is my iPad. And this is my laptop. So this I use, uh, usually use for work. Sometimes I use it for personal things, but mostly it's for work. Uh, this is my one of my two uh, drawing tablets. This one is like my wireless one. And then, well actually, this one should be wireless, but I don't have the adapter for it, uh, which is why I don't use it anymore really. But um, this was a really, really good tablet. Um, and then below that I just have more papers. So that's it for that. And then the last jar is this one. Here I just keep some of like these little travel pouches and stuff. Um, this is a laptop case that my boyfriend's aunt made me, which I love. She picked out exactly the patterns that I love. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I have this little fan from before the times that we had air conditioning in our house. I keep it just in case. Um, here is this little pencil pouch that keeps all of the the backs of the pin, the Disney pins that I have. I don't know why I keep these. I think it might be because in case I need to pin trade one day, but I thought it would be good to save them. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. Okay, so now on this side of the closet, I keep, um, in here I have a box where I keep all of my <laughs> receipts, uh, just for tax purposes here in Portugal. It's beneficial to save your receipts. Um, I have some water bottles here, um, and then in here I have this little basket where I have more of my actual drinking bottles. Uh, this is another llama thing that my sister got me. It says, I'll pack in my bags, which is absolutely adorable. Um, and then I have some other uh, bottles here. I keep some tissues because I always need these. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's it for that. And then down here I keep one of my purses that I want to keep safe from everything because it's a light color um so i just keep that pretty like in there here is 
and very interesting box where I have some of my Disney figurines that I used to collect when I was working at the Disney store. Um, I have a whole bunch of them in here. <laughs> Uh, and I don't display them because this isn't my full collection. I don't want to display them until I have my full collection. The other part is living in New York right now, so I'm just waiting for those to get back here so I can put them on full display. Here is just this little, it's just a, a storage bag where I keep some things that I have to take with me when I go to, to Spain in September. Um, and then at the very bottom, we have some canvases, which it's it's no big deal, just like a whole bunch of them. Um, and then below that, I have this like easel that I don't use very often because I don't paint with oil <laughs> or acrylic very often anymore. But uh, in case I do, this is where they are. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. So now let's go through my drawers. All right. So in this first drawer, it looks a little messy right now because I, I, I don't know, it just is. Um, I keep my inhalers here whenever I need to use them. Um, I have some sticky notes. Uh, in here I keep some doodads, like batteries, a memory card. Here are some mints that my boyfriend's mom brought from, brought for me from Netherlands. Here is my wireless mouse. This is my passport and the holder. Uh, this is my allergy medicine. <laughs> I probably sound like a sick, poor, sick child. I promise I'm not. And then below my mouse here, I have just some, uh, some regular office things. I have some push pins, uh, paper clips, these uh, huge paper clip thingies, um, staples, uh, these are like adapters for the chargers. Um, I have a bunch of these like SIM card pushy thingies for the phone. Some extra earphone silicone thingies and I just keep those in there. More lotion. <laughs> These, um, this one my boyfriend got for me for Christmas. Uh, it came with this big set and I love how it smells. I sort of only use this during Christmas. Uh, for everything else, I use this, this one here. Here are my keys. And then here I keep some of my, uh, like eyeglass essentials. I have, uh, like this little eyeglass case that doubles as a, as a cleaning wipe. Uh, and then I have a whole bunch of cleaning wipes below that. Here I have my Fitbit, which hasn't seen the light of day in probably two years. And this is just an adapter for my MacBook. Now here, behind this, is just some more sticky notes that I have. My boyfriend got me this too. So this is the first gift that my boyfriend ever got me. Um, it's a very special notebook and I don't actually use it. Um, he wrote what, one of my favorite poems. Actually, this is the most favorite poem that I have. Um, and yeah, he just, he did that for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just keep it here as like a little memento and um, it's saved. And now over here, it's just another little basket full of like stuff. <laughs> this is a wallet that I use sometimes when I'm going out and I don't want to take a purse. Um, these are the post-it notes that I use sometimes when I'm, uh, when I need to take notes or something like that. Um, this here is actually, it's like a, it, it was something that my boyfriend gave me, but I put my phone in it here whenever I need to keep it standing. Um, and I have a few Disney pins in here that I haven't put up on my pin board. These are from Monsters, Inc. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this f first drawer. Um, and now to go down to the next drawer. Here, I, so I don't know if, if you guys might have ever seen my Instagram. At one point, I was going to open up an Etsy shop, but uh, it just didn't work out. The timing hasn't been right for that yet. Um, but I do want to, it's still on my mind. I still, it's still something I want to do. So I just keep all of the postage stuff that I bought for, uh, for that in this drawer. There's nothing interesting there, which is why I didn't really go into it. <laughs> um, here, it's... And 
I don't know, this jar just has like a bunch of different stuff, but basically um, what I do keep in here are things that I need to sort of access a little bit more frequently. So this here is just like a clipboard I use sometimes when I'm, um, when I'm drawing on loose papers. Um, this is a planner that I have. Uh, it's a weekly planner. Um, it says uh, a planner for, for uh, brilliant weeks and fantastic plans. Uh, so yeah, so here I just keep track of some things that I need to take care of. Um, and then below that are just a bunch of mats for my um, my Silhouette Curio. Sorry. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. Bless you, by the way. <laughs> my nose is uh, playing with me right now. No. Okay, so then here I keep uh, just some uh, pa pat, like drawing pads. Um, I have watercolor paper, I have this, uh, this book that I made, um, I, I bound it together, uh, and I haven't put a cover on it yet. Uh, these are some more sheets for my planner. Uh, this is some watercolor paper, I have some uh, Bristol paper, and just more watercolor and other types of paper that I use for my drawings. And... Here is my technology drawer. I will not get into that because this is a giant mess. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this side. Now let's go to the other side. All right, so on this side, I keep more of like my art supplies and stuff. So on this first drawer, I have a bunch of my like pens. These I use for like lining, for doing line art. Um, I have more pens here. I really like to draw with these. So that's why I bought a whole bunch of them. I also have a lot of these uh, th these white pens that I use for um, for detailing my art, um, and then I use these for sketching. These are my favorite. These are erasable. Uh, I bought these in New York and Amazon because they were cheaper at the time. Uh, and then back here, I have more of my llama stuff. Uh, these are all the stationary things that my sister gave me, or some of the things that I bought, like these. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this jar. There's nothing really too too interesting here, but I can just briefly take out some stuff here. My No Drama Llama pads, and this is uh, another pad that my sister got me. Um, some more like little llama stuff. I really love this this pouch. Okay. So now let's go down to the next drawer. Here I keep all of like my measuring stuff. So my like uh, rulers, uh, my protractors and stuff like that. So all of that stays there. Um, and then in here, this is actually a pencil case that I bought when I was in Estonia. I bought this through Amazon. Um, and it just has some of my colored pencils in there. Uh, and it's really cute. I love like the elephant design. Uh, this is some of my chalk markers. Uh, I have that little chalkboard outside and also have a chalkboard in the kitchen, so I use that for that. And then this is a special little box that I got from my boyfriend's parents for Christmas. And it has some, some art supplies in here. Um, I don't do a lot of sketching these days with like charcoal or pencils like this, so that's why I haven't used it very often. But it's very thoughtful and once I do get to doing more sketching with like pencils and charcoal and stuff like that, then I'm definitely going to use it. Um, down here I just have some paper. Uh, here's my gold foil paper that I use. This one didn't come out right, so I just kept it in here as like a scrap. Um, photo paper, and this is just paper that I have here for my, uh, my laser printer. Um, I have sticker paper and stuff like that, so this is where this lives, just to make sure that it's very accessible for me. Um, and now in this drawer, this is where I keep all of my paint supplies, uh, not my paint supplies, sorry, my palette supplies. So um, I have like these plastic cups that I, uh, that I decided to recycle or reuse. Um, those have a story. From a lemonade stand that oh. I went to with my boyfriend uh, in uh, Pua in Setubo. And um, I, it was just a really nice, uh, like, nice experience buying from them. So I decided to keep the cups and use them for my, for my painting. Uh, this here I actually bought also from Loja do Gato Preto. Um, it's not meant to be used for paint. This is actually for sauces, but 
they have really beautiful like uh, I guess like dining table stuff so some of them can be used for painting at least for me it felt like that um, this is also from them I think this is also for like sauces or something so I just bought like a whole bunch of them to use with my watercolors uh, I have my little palette knife and this is also another thing that I bought from them um, I'm pretty sure this is like I don't know for like sushi or something like that um, so that's what I use and then this is, I'm almost positive, I bought this from like this uh, like vintage store the other day. Well, not the other day, this was probably last year. Um, and I'm almost positive that this is for like olives or something like that. But I use it again for like my watercolor painting. And then this is just another yogurt bottle that I have used very much. <laughs> uh, and then here just some regular palettes. And then in here I have uh, these little... Uh, um, cotton pads that I use for whenever I'm um, I'm painting I can just dry my brush on it and that's it for that and then finally it's so this is what I would call like my catch-all drawer um, in here I have uh, like a bunch of craft stuff so for example this box came with this the pins that I showed you this the Sleeping Beauty ones uh, so in here I just have like a couple of stickers and stuff like that, um, just, you know, things that I I wanted to keep inside of uh, another box because they're so small or whatever. Um, here I have some, I like to make cards, I, I'm really into card making, so I bought these like little gems and things like that that I can use for decorating. Uh, this is like a happy birthday sign <laughs> that we used recently for my boyfriend's and my boyfriend's dad's birthday. Um, here I have a pin of Miss Marvel. Again, I'm really into uh, Marvel. Uh, this was a box where I have this uh, the Wasp bookmark, but in here I just keep the little clothes pins that I use for my photos. Um, and then in this other box that I have here, this is a beautiful little gift that my boyfriend gave me. Um, I've used it a few times. I haven't gotten that much into calligraphy because I suck at it. But it's this beautiful set that comes with the, the, the calligraphy pen, nibs, uh, this like thingy that it's like a, to make sure that it doesn't smudge. And then the ink, I have it on, on the other side of the room as decoration because it was very pretty. And then I keep the box here just to keep those things safe. Um, I have some yarn, some string, that kind of stuff. I have a tape, some more cotton pads. Uh, I have my gesso. Here I have some Christmas ribbons, which I use also for decorating uh, presents. Um, and then this little minion was also a gift from my boyfriend. Uh, he bought it for me when um, I had to go back to New York and he couldn't come with me. So, uh, so he gave it to me as sort of like, you know, a little parting gift for a while. Um, and then here I have some string for necklace or bracelet making that uh, when my mom came we made like a necklace and a bracelet, I'm oh, sorry, two necklaces together. Um, so that's pretty much it. This is just a flag of Portugal that we used to have hanging in our bedroom when we lived in Estonia. Um, and then over here we ha I have these big papers that I use for uh, photography. Um, I have a guillotine back there. And I have uh, my cutting mat, which it's too big to pull out and it's kind of a mess, so I just leave it in there. Um, but that's pretty much it for the drawers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the outside of the room and I'll show you that in a second. We have a little table here where we sometimes uh, like, I don't know, watch stuff together while eating or sometimes I'll work from there. Um, I have the little cacti that my uh, boyfriend's mom gave me to keep here. And then over there in the green box, you might not see it from here, but I have strawberries growing and that reminds me I have to water them. <laughs> but this is the view from, from my window. Um, it's very beautiful here, it's very quiet. That's what I love the most about where I live here in Portugal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my for my office tour. I hope you guys enjoyed.